Hey guys, Mods Ali here and welcome back to my channel. To those who are new, hello and welcome and I hope you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I will be doing an install um, that I wasn't really planning on doing nor it's something that I want to do. But unfortunately, my wife had a little accident and uh, she took out the side mirror, the driver's side side mirror when she was backing into our garage with that center post right there. Or was it the center post that took out the side mirror? Who knows? But uh, it's a necessary evil. It has to be done. It has to be replaced. So um, I will be walking uh, you through the install and I hope you stick around so we can take uh, this. To this. I just want to give you guys a closer look so you can see the extent of the damage here. And as you can see, the glass is a goner. The uh, signal lights underneath it is a goner. The whole casing is pretty much a goner. Uh, but surprisingly, the uh, BSM or the uh, blind spot monitoring actually still works, but it's kind of useless with all these cracks here on the glass. So anyway, I did some canvassing and uh, with our local Toyota dealers and they actually wanted over $500 uh, after taxes, Canadian dollars that is. So I wasn't willing to pay that much. And I did some reviews and uh, found rockauto.com. And I went ahead and purchased uh, this OEM replacement part, which cost me less than half of what uh, the uh, uh, Toyota dealers were asking for. So... Um, I will be doing the unboxing and we will compare it with the uh, OEM uh, part and uh, uh, look at both of them side by side and uh, see how it compares. This is how it came right out of the box and it was wrapped in this uh, fabric material bag here. And uh, so far, just looking at uh, the construction and the materials used and the weight, I'm very pleased with it. I'm happy that uh, I picked one of these up. And uh, as you may have noticed though, uh, one major difference is it came in as black. Uh, and fortunately, um, the here are the pieces from that carnage. And uh, fortunately, this piece here, the cover for the whole housing, popped right out. And as you can see, with the exception of some minor scratches here it's still intact it's one piece so all i gotta do is pop this right out replace it with that and uh, we'll take it from there so this should just pop right out there you go that was easy now as you can see here, all the clips are still there, all the tabs are still there intact. So let's hope that it fits directly. There we go. Snug. It's a snug fit. Snaps right on. I just want to do a quick side by side comparison here with our OEM one from the uh, passenger side. And. Uh, just looking at it quickly, it looks pretty damn close to me. Looks like a hundred percent match. All right, the quality, the build, the shape, everything matches. No. 
no question. So I'll go ahead and do the uh, opening up the panels and let's do our install and hopefully it functions as expected. This should be a pretty simple, easy install, but uh, somehow it's a little tedious uh, so we need to take out this whole entire um, door panel here uh, to be able to access the plug for the side mirror harness and also take this out, this panel over here, to be able to unscrew the, the uh, side mirror. And uh, we have our basic tools here. Uh, we have uh, some prying tools, pick tools, and uh, we have our uh, drill and also an impact wrench. So we'll go ahead and uh, take it apart. Let's get the easy one out of the way first uh, using a pick tool, some sort of a small fabric covering right here. Set that off to the side. There's a screw. Just take that out. There's another screw behind this door handle here. So we'll pick it with this tool. Okay, so I just basically uh, uh, pried it this way, came right off. And we have another screw right there. Set that aside. And we have this um, clip, screw clip right here, so all, all you gotta do is push the center part right there and then pry it. That's easy. Let's set that aside. And uh, that should do it for a screw. So now we we need to uh, take out this whole panel right here. So take out the panel, start from the bottom, and just snap it right out. Slowly work around. So I didn't want to undo the clips, so I'm just clipping it right now because all I need to do really is to access the harness. This harness right here so we can uh, replace our new one. Next step is to just remove these round stickers here. Gives us access to the uh, 10 millimeter bolts right here. Now 
make sure to support the uh, mirror when you're doing the last one. There you go. I just want to quickly show you guys the uh, internal components. This is the OEM one. And this is the replacement one. And as you can see, it's very similar, guys. Um, the replacement actually came with the uh, uh, nuts as well. So I will go ahead and use those as well to make sure that the uh, threads match the uh, um, the bolts. So I think this is worth mentioning. This is important. And I noticed that uh, this uh, plastic trim here um, comes with uh, male and female pins. I don't know if you can see that there. So this is the female one. And there's the corresponding male one. And it's um, pretty much all over this uh, uh, plastic piece here. And I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in total. So before you install it, make sure that they are lined up and proper, properly uh, clipped together. So you get a nice and neat uh, seal right there. So after you replace the bolts, it's like a nice and snug fit here. And you can just go ahead and replace the, uh, the harness. One thing that uh, could happen when you take out the um, the panel for the side mirror from here. These clips become uh, undone and it sticks to the uh, uh, body of the, uh, the door. All right, so you might wanna take these out and then reinstall them back onto that, uh, that side panel. 
the side cover and then you can push it right back in. So before we go ahead and uh, put everything back into its original place, it's always a good idea to do a quick test. So we'll just go ahead and do that. As you can see there, the uh, BSM light went on. Let's try to do the signal. As you can see, the uh, signal light is on and uh, it looks good to me. As mentioned, when you pull out this uh, cover panel here, uh, these white clips do not come out with the uh, panel, so you're going to have to take them out individually. Be careful, because if this falls into here somewhere, it'd be uh, you'll have a hard time taking them out like I did. So uh, just a, a tip, be very careful with these clips. And once you get them out, you just... Uh, install it back uh, into place over there so the remaining one will uh, uh, go right here the installation is complete and my truck looks good as new i tested out the uh, bsm sensor the signal lights and also the automatic mirror adjustment and everything works as expected i'm pretty sure that uh, my wife or shall i say the garage post has learned its lesson and uh, I hope that you guys picked up a couple of lessons as well. If you have any questions or comments, please post them on the uh, comment section below. And if this video was helpful to you, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until the next time, for now, if you can be anything, be kind.